Uh, my name's Steve and I'm a bit of a bogan. <laughs> no, I'd like to get that out of the way first just in case any of you were wondering. <laughs> I know, when you're sitting there on night going, oh, is he? At the start of the night, everything was all right. I had a foolproof plan in place. She had to have blonde hair and blue eyes and big tits and nice lips and yeah, a real pretty face. But then the drink started flowing and well, I got going and me standards, they started to slip. Till I was chasing a gorilla around the edge of the dance floor going, come on honey, give us a bit. <laughs> you find yourself bringing your own shit home. <laughs> and it happens too, you just walk down the road, there's the coffee table you threw out six months ago, someone's fixed the leg on it, give it a coat of paint, you just go, well, straight back in the lounge room with you. <laughs> Dad, push the Gemini out, it's magic. <laughs> well, I don't know what they put in the schooners round here that make the large girls look so thin. But if I ever meet the prick that invented Jaeger bombs, fuck, I'm gonna have words with you. <laughs> and B-52s, they're a shit thing to do. You shouldn't do that to your mates. Feed them up on free piss and point them at chicks and just tell them they all look great. And everyone's, everyone's down on Muslims, man. Nobody likes Muslims. Bogans don't like Muslims. Fuck Muslims, fuck town heads, fuck off, fuck never. No one likes Muslims. Fuck. Muslims. Bring Muslims on. We should have more fucking Muslims in this country. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because at no stage in the history of the world has a Muslim ever knocked on my front door at 8 o'clock on a Saturday morning to tell me about their shit. <laughs> I can see there's something not quite right and she's not Paris and I'm not happy and I'm fucking off. Uh, Joe Patrick was talking about swingers parties earlier on. There, shit if you're a bogan. You know what happens when you go to a swingers party, everyone chucks their car keys in and into a big bowl and they pull out the car keys and you've got to go, ah, oh, that's shit at a bogan swingers party. They're just like, we're looking for a Commodore. Commodore. <laughs> Commodore. <laughs> Commodore. <laughs> Hyundai, fuck off. That's <laughs> tough. Well, I will admit sometimes I've kind of pushed the boundaries on what a man should screw. I mean, I've never gone to bed with a real ugly woman, but fuck, I've woken up with a few. <laughs> some had moustaches and some had third nipples and one even had a third leg. I did what any bloke in my position would do. I rolled her over and I fucked her again. <laughs> I do when you're dealing with an IT person and they ask you questions, just make shit up. <laughs> I walked in, I put my computer on the counter, he's like, what seems to be the problem? I said, I don't know, every time I turn it on, it bursts into flames. <laughs> Without missing a beat, he looks at me and goes, have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? <laughs> it's not my fault, weird freaky porn, that's all that's out there nowadays. There's no fucking normal porn left. The internet made me a pervert. It's not my fault. <laughs> I got fetishes about shit I didn't even know existed 20 years ago. <laughs> 20 years ago, I was normal when it came to porn. 20 years ago, you get a boob out, I get excited. Fucking like, show me some pubes, fuck all over that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's right, young people. I said pubes. <laughs> Back in my day, women had them. <laughs> In the park, she looked like Paris in bed last night when the lights were off. But in the cold blue morning light, I can see there's something not quite right, and she's not Paris, and I'm not happy. And what the fuck is that? <laughs> and he's not Paris, and I'm not happy. <laughs>